Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. just about anything. Except for this, it's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something full of trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful at a pinch. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Now there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the east side where windbags used to keep the local forge. Inside the forge, Kay can fine-tune those instruments of his. With a good length of Mies gut, that bow's like new again. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. He 
tickets for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Abbey. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Step. Shame old Gershel can't float like when he was a young fella. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where it started. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be alright, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid ain't finished here yet. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. while the kid was out. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. The 
more stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Scores born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while.
I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. old wood oil and that blade shines like a light. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Huh? <laughs> 
soon enough. <laughs> Kid comes back from Windback Ranch, smelling good and ripe. <laughs> We ain't much for pleasantries. War machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. Couples used to walk the sundown path. The kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. position. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. We 
mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is... Who else could have taken the core? No survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. live munitions down the path. These wires to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut-eye from time to time. They get real cranky when they wake up. Who else could have survived the calamity?